My name is Helena Polaka. I am a chef patron at Savoy, Helsinki. I would imagine that the cook's job needs to be exactly the same that it is now. Maybe with some um, uh, technology will probably take some of the work away. Uh, but at the same time, you know, the um, handcraft, the skills that we have, uh, the technical skills, uh, I think that's all what we need to still, we need to have the ability uh, to use them and, and, and be able to utilize, um, pass on the knowledge as such. I think Cook's responsibilities in the future will be multitasking because you will have less people probably working on the projects and different style of kitchens. Um, therefore, you, the ability to be, the ability to multitask is important. I think it's generally important in cook's life and chef's lives. And ability to take responsibility. I think that's because the teams will be smaller. So the the, the skill set, the mindset, and the knowledge and know-how of, of of leading teams and and diff, have have colleagues on the same level uh, um, to work in a team. Uh, as a team. I think some specific skills in the future what the cook needs to hold is, is definitely um, food safety uh, is uh, in a bigger role more and more and I think within within the countries within Europe I, th I think those standards should be the same for every country uh, because people are changing jobs going from one country to another um, and as I mentioned, that multitasking and being ability to uh, to liaise with others, it's important. Um, I think the technical skills never, it's it's never you should never underestimate that. Um, and having the technical skills into butchery and fish and you know and uh, owning those skills, it's important for the future as well. So the the knowledge actually, the know how will will go on and on. Um, less we do those kind of things, I think more people want to learn them. I think the requirements that, is, uh, that we need is establish the standards on, on, the, on the sanitation, on the food, mm. food safety. I think that's very important. Um, and make, because we easily open a restaurant and you have, a, you, have you have a group of chefs coming into a team and at the same time when you do that, you know, they haven't done the standard courses on sanitation, for example. So on the go, when you're operating already, you will, you will have to keep teaching them. Every, every. So I think that, that, that's necessary. That's very important. Um, obviously, uh, the education needs to hold the skill of um, uh, communicating uh, between the departments back and front of house, if we just specifically talk about chefs, cooks in the kitchen, um, that because that's the, that, that's the basics for the culture. And we have so many issues with the culture in the kitchens, uh, people coming from different nations, with different cultures, different backgrounds, and, uh, and the communication skills is very, it's very important. Mm -hmm and the managerial skills and, and, and different levels. If you are in the traditional hierarchy in the kitchen, then you have a commis chef, then you have a chef, uh, chef, demi chef de party, chef de party, and looking after sections. I think in uh, that hierarchy, people need to understand those roles, mm -hmm. and that needs to be thought into in the establishment wherever, where you're studying. I think the most important thing still past 2022, the skills that we need, I think it is still the, the knife skills. Mm -hmm. It is the communication skills, and I think uh, uh, technical skills, uh, the ability of understanding procedures, mm. procedures in a, uh, uh, when it comes to the food hi uh, food hygiene, when it comes to the uh, safety um, standards. I think those are definitely very important skills that should be thought. How do I see vegetarian food? I think vegetarian food is, 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 is it's already important part of the chef's life. Absol absolutely. It should, be, it, it should be part of the education. It, it should be part of uh, our cook's interest towards all different um, diets. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's like the allergies. It's very, very important. You know, you have, uh, if you think of aller allergens, uh, you have 14 different allergens in the EU legislation. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and y when you're working in the UK, like I've worked in the UK for 25 years, you know, you, you have to follow that, uh, you have to follow the law, you have to be able to give the menus, the allergens, point out all those things on the menu uh, to the guest when the guest is asked. I think the three most important things uh, the restaurant industry has to change in the next 10 years. I think vegan food is one thing. Uh, vegan food is very important because uh, um, we can't produce enough food globally. Um, I think uh, 2050, like all know, we're going to produce more food than we produced in the last 100 years. So the importance of understanding the vegan food and what and how uh, we are providing the nutrition to vegan people. I think that's that's an interesting mm -hmm. and I think it's it's growing and uh, an important part of it. Uh, I suppose tech, techn technology is going to bring things into the restaurant industry whether it's the robots or um, but does that suit everyone? Um, one end of the industry might consider that it's important and it will be looked very positive upon. Uh, the other end of fine dining, what will that bring to us? I don't, I don't know. Uh, is it important? No, I don't think so. Um, but perhaps um, the logistics is one thing that, and, and, uh, and that, that's linked into the produce itself that we're buying and where it's coming from. I think that will be a very important thing for the restaurant industry, not just in one country, but globally, because we can't buy, we can't continue buying products from 10,000 miles away. Um, and that needs to be addressed locally. And that can be quite challenging, depending on the country we're talking. If you think we're talking of Finland, what do we get here in January if we needed to buy local produce? But still, we should. We have the ability and we have the knowledge from the past, from the history, how to preserve. So, in essence, all those um, old man's tales and, and, and skills need to come back up. And we need to teach that to ourselves again how to preserve uh, for, 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 for different months of the year and really go into the core of the. Of, of the seasonality. I think in, uh, in this industry, uh, the expertise that I would expect to get from the new, new cook, new chef, I think it's more uh, related to the, the practices, the procedures, the health and safety side uh, and, and food hygiene side. Having that knowledge um, saves us a lot of time in a kitchen, in a professional kitchen. And we can then concentrate on the skills. Uh, every newcomer uh, cook has some sort of skills. Some of them have better, some of them are worse. But the, 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 the skills in a day-to-day -day operation, they are easy to teach. But if you don't have the basic knowledge of procedures that how to function in a kitchen environment and the dangers of it, I think that's one aspect that I would really appreciate to have. On, on people who are coming to them. I think the special dietaries, intolerances on f in food, people's intolerances on food is very important. Even five years from now, I think it's going to repeat itself and just it's a growing trend. And we don't necessarily yet know where all these intolerances are coming from. Um, therefore, it's something that fashion, unfortunately, makes it uh, you know, not so, we, you know, often not so interested, in, interesting and we don't necessarily care about it. But I, I do think that for future, for five years on, it's very, very important that we accept them and on any level of, of a cook, accept that there are people who cannot eat something and they might be intolerant and very allergic to something. And I think that will always remain there and, and, and it's just a growing trend and I think it's important to take the measurements now. I think the most important cook's competencies um, you know, include uh, communication skills, um, ability to adapt into a situation, uh, which is probably uh, part of the multitasking skill, um, and awareness around your surroundings, awareness in the teamwork and, and the cultural backgrounds of people 
people are traveling more, um, want to experience more, um, and adapting to that, I think it's very, very important. Your own attitude, how you, how you react and how you want to, what you want to achieve. Have you got a plan for yourself? Um, and having the right attitude is, is an extra mile. Like in any preparation in life, you prepare something, you, you do your mise en place, uh, and you, you're on plus for service, half done, nearly almost ready, so, uh, you know. And then basic skills, uh, traditional basic knife skills, um, takes you far, it's very important. Um, butchery, fish prep, understanding seasonality, and ability to work fast is, is, is a tremendous skill that is, when you show that to someone in, a, in especially in a very high-end kitchen, ability to work fast uh, and concentrate it um, without making mistakes it's 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 one great. number one for me is the is the local food wild food uh, food that is is not coming too far away at least within the own country's uh, boards I think that's that's one thing that's important um, I think another important thing is of course the social media and uh, uh, um, how you create your brand and and how you I don't say advertising is probably the wrong word, but uh, pe people want to see what you do. They would love to see every day. Every day is maybe a bit too often, but several times a week, what's on a menu? And I think for, for young chefs as well, that is in fact very important, that it becomes a part of, part of the story and they become a part of the story and, and uh, allowing them to do that as long as it goes in line of the of 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 the of the restaurant and 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 the side, and I think developing the brand and making changes like we are now doing here um, for future uh, as a third uh, future thing that you have to take into consideration, I think it's related to customer service and have the ability to adapt into different kind of customers. Um, if I think uh, here. Our customer base is, is, is we have a certain standard that people are people get dressed certain way people get served certain way uh, classical way but it is necessary that you live in a trend even that you might be the most classical and let you know uh, traditional restaurant to a certain extent and a very high end you still have to adapt and take everybody into consideration as a potential customer that will come for the next 10 years every day or three times a week